Hey guys, it's Ken Jacobs here once again. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, gdiplus.dll file error. Um, we've been getting a lot of uh, support requests and help tickets and emails and stuff regarding this particular DLL file error, so I thought it was time to make a quick video and I also made a post on my blog on walking you through exactly how to get it fixed. Um, if you click the link below the video, it'll take you to the blog um, and you can follow along with the step-by-step -step on just how to get it fixed. Um, the GDI Plus .dll, it's a common uh, DLL file that's owned by uh, Microsoft, and the main role is um, is it functions as part of the the GDI, uh, which is uh, has to do with the graphical interface, uh, and so the chances of if you're getting any kind of DLL file errors that reference GDI Plus, then there's a pretty high probability that uh, that your computer has registry problems. You may be getting something, you know, like the GDI plus or GDI plus dot TLL is not found, or the file requires it, but it's not found in your system, or it's missing, or any um, any cryptic uh, Microsoft error message. As long as it's referencing the GDI plus dot DLL file, then there's a very high probability that that is a registry problem. In order to get it fixed, um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, and I, like I said, I made a step-by-step -step on my blog on how to do it. If you click the link below the video, you'll go to the blog. Just follow the steps there, um, and I've just laid it out uh, as non-technically as possible. Uh, should be up and running and back on the road in five or ten minutes. I mean, it's it's a pretty simple fix. Um, and as always, if you have any problems, shoot me an email shoot me a private message, do something, get in touch with me, and I'll help walk you through it. But I don't really think you're going to. Um, like I said, I made it pretty straightforward and simple. So um, I hope this helps. I'm sure it does. Um, if it does help, we always appreciate, you know, if you leave a comment or uh, something on the video or on the blog post or something, just to let other people know, hey, this is working for me, and it'll probably work for you. Um, and it also lets us know that you uh, like these videos and these blog posts, and uh, I keep doing them. So uh, again, I hope this helps, and uh, just click the video or click the link below the video. Follow the instructions, and you'll be good as new. All right, take care.